The defamation case brought forward from the law firm of Niger Stewart & Associates on behalf of Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell against Claudette Joseph finally saw its day in court. However, the defendant in the matter, an attorney herself, is discrediting reports in a local media outlet that her defense application has been dismissed in relation to the defamation lawsuit filed by Prime Minister Mitchell. According to Ms. Joseph, the High Court on Thursday held a hearing for a specific application filed by her attorney requesting the court to extend the time within which they had to file the defense as they are with information from the claimant, Dr. Mitchell. Um, Dr. Mitchell resisted that application. Uh, he said he thought he had given us enough information to file our defense. And he asked the court to enter judgment for him in default of us filing, not filing our defense on time. The court agreed with him that there was enough information already given to file a defense and so did not grant our application to extend the time. But at the same time, the court declined to enter judgment for him. Right? So what happened yesterday, the requests by both parties um, were denied. The requests by both parties were denied. The lawsuit came as a result of Claudette Joseph, the current PRO for the National Democratic Congress, claiming Dr. Mitchell was an investor in the field shrimp farm project. Dr. Mitchell, having denied such claims, advised the law firm of Niger Stewart & Associates to issue a letter to Ms. Joseph in December 2019. Joseph was asked to cease and desist from repeating the claim, apologize and pay compensation in the amount of 350,000 EC dollars within seven days of receiving the pre-action protocol letter. A local media outlet was the first to break the story on Thursday, detailing the accounts of the case hearing. According to the article, both attorneys made their arguments on the defense application. However, the court agreed to Stewart's submissions that Joseph did not meet the necessary threshold or satisfy any of the conditions as prescribed by law and proceeded to dismiss Joseph's application. However, Joseph tells GBN that was not the outcome, noting that they have since filed and served the defense application on Friday, which would enable the hearing to go on as normal. GBN sought a response via the Prime Minister's press secretary, who advised our reporter to make contact with Dr. Mitchell's attorney, Nigel Stewart. Stewart was unavailable both at his offices in Grenada and Karikou, with the secretary in his sister aisle informing our reporter that he was at the time on the way back to Grenada. I am Gerard Joseph for GBN News.